Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope that you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your love and presence. I'm grateful for your support. Thank you so much. So I'm back with the reading and today's topic is a new money path. So I'm going to give you a little idea what we are going to do in the reading today. So first I'll be using your cup coffee cup to scribe messages then i'll be getting cards to ask what are the current blockages in your life with regards to your finances uh, then what what you can expect in the next six months by the end of 2024 and then i'm also going to pull out some channeled messages that i've already written and in the end we'll also ask a question anything that you want to ask i'll be using the yes no coin to answer your question so that's what we are going to do in today's reading. Options are in front of you. This is group number one and group number two. You can take your time by pausing the video right now and select whatever option you feel drawn to. And in case you want to listen to the whole video, feel free to do that. Always listen to your intuition. That's your best guide. Okay, so I'm going to start with group number one. So hello, group number one. Whosoever chose this cup, this is going to be a reading. So we are going to see um, whatever comes out with the cup, anything that I can see. I can already see here like um, C, F, C. I don't know what that means. C, F, C. <laughs> All right. I'm hearing strike when the iron is hot. I'm also hearing that a prayer that you made recently with regards to a money opportunity, the prayer is heard is what I got. Maybe some of you, you might have gone to a temple, a spiritual place. Um, or specifically to a Shiva temple. You might have made a prayer there regarding a money situation, like something you want, an opportunity that you were praying for. Um, I'm specifically getting Shiva temple, so that's been heard. You'll get it, is what I'm getting. Do you see something here, uh, right, with the get-go? There's someone sitting on a rock here. Like, that's how I see it. Uh, like, there's someone sitting on the rock. And when I'm seeing this, I'm visualizing that um, you know, when Ram was, Lord Ram was about to meet Hanuman, um, like, before meeting Hanuman, like, uh, I'm getting that feeling where, like, as if Lord Rama is sitting and thinking about something, like, that's how I'm seeing it. And it's as if he's about to meet Hanuman, his greatest devotee, his greatest, um, wow. So this is giving me a feeling like, there is something about to be happening which is going to feel like destiny to you. Like this was really, this was meant for you all this time. Like destiny being at play. And when this opportunity or this person comes into your life, it's going to really turn up your financial situation because it's nothing but destiny. This is something, it's like everything that was happening to you till date was a part of the plan and it was preparing you for this moment so that's how it's gonna feel like okay i'm also hearing september so maybe september could be the month when you feel something happening that looks like a, a big destined moment to you seeing dragonflies could be significant you might be seeing dragonflies around this time whenever this is about to happen. 
Wow. Okay. Some of you could be really close to Lord Hanuman maybe. You make prayers to him. You go to his temple or do something like that because I keep channeling his energy, okay? Like, uh, I can I can sense his presence almost. Like, I'm, I'm seeing his images again and again in my vision. So maybe some of you feel a lot of, like, a lot uh, connected or a strong connection to Lord Hanuman maybe. Wow, that's a big five. <laughs> that's so evident see that's a big five five is the energy of change your current situation is definitely changing it's not far um when i saw this it gave me the feeling of that big black ant you know those black ants um maybe you guys are seeing that a lot around you lately um, but with this, I'm getting a feeling you're going to be busy ahead. Like ants always remind me of hard work and being busy. Um, so this is how I'm seeing it. I'm also seeing a koi fish in my vision, the koi fish in specific. I see that as a sign of financial abundance. Fishes usually are a sign of financial abundance. So that's for sure. Um, money is changing. I just noticed, okay, there's a lot of coffee at the bottom deposited. Like uh, the coffee didn't spread in the cup altogether. It's a lot of it is just at the bottom, sitting at the bottom see it did not move actually wow oh sorry i have a feeling i'm channeling a feeling of fear and guilty i'll be honest when i'm looking at this uh the way the this cup is like you know I'm channeling the feeling of a fear and guilt. I'll tell you how, how I'm seeing it in a financial way. Uh, say for example, um, you want to go and work in a different city, okay? But you feel a sense of being tied to your family. And you feel that if I go away in the city to make more money or to follow that opportunity that I really want, I'm betraying my family. I'm betraying or, you know, like um, I'm losing something here. Like I'm, you might carry a kind of a guilty conscience. Again, that's your life choice. I'm not saying anything is right or wrong here. That's not what I'm here for. <laughs> it's up to you what is right for you, what is wrong for you. There is no right or wrong as per um, physical existence. It's always our perspective. What can be right for me can be wrong for you. And what can be wrong for me could be right for you, right? So I think right and wrong is just a perspective of how you see at things, look at things. What, what are your belief system? So I do have a sense here that many of you have this kind of a guilty conscience that holds you back. Now, maybe this is something subconsciously happening with you. You are not maybe fully aware of it. Or some of you... It's like you always feel if I, if I fully commit to what I want, I'm betraying my loved ones or I'm betraying someone in the picture. This could be a life partner. This could be a boyfriend, girlfriend. This could be literally your family, your friends, whatever that is. There is an underlying guilty conscience that I can almost channel over my cup. Like you want to do things or you want to try something out, but something holds you back. It's like you feel more committed to your responsibility or your situationship or relationship that you're not giving yourself a chance to try something new, especially when it comes to your career or finances. This could be for some of you. I'm not saying everyone will resonate with this, but maybe some of you, okay? Um, it's as if, you know, you are not tapping into the energy that has so much of potential. It's all seated at the bottom. You can tap into your potential, but you're not doing it. 
let me see. See, uh, there is the idea of double ring in your plate. Like there's one here and there's one here, okay? And this is exactly what I'm talking about. The idea of imprisonment, feeling stuck in your head, having guilty conscience around some kind of opportunity or I don't know, like, Maybe you need to communicate. Uh, maybe the way you're thinking it is not exactly even, it's not even true. You think your parents would not agree to it, but have you talked about it? Like just an example, okay? I don't know what your situation is exactly, but have you communicated? Have you, have you put your point across, okay? Maybe you, it's just building up in your head. It's not in reality. Did you try to communicate with all your heart? So maybe uh, this might be resonating with only some of you, probably. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm also getting the numbers 7 very strongly. For some of you, I'm also getting a feeling, a recent decline in health. Especially it was your liver health. Uh, you feel that this is causing you a setback. Maybe for some of you, this is about your physical health causing you a setback. Um... Okay, let's see. I'm going to see with your cards any current blockages, okay? If anything, um, any current blockages. Let's see. Thank you, spirits. Oh my God, I can't believe this dude. Seriously, I am not making things up. I cut the deck and you know what? I saw Eight of Cups. Are you serious? Eight of Cups is the cup, sorry, Eight of Cups is the card of walking away, traveling. Uh, for some of you, it's a literal journey, moving away from something, leaving something behind. For some of you, this is a mental thing, okay? Uh, depends. Uh, for some of you, this could be the case where you might be thinking um, you're too familiar with the place you're living in and you're like, but I don't think so. This is going to work out in a new place. What if we don't find a good house? What if we, we're not able to sort out the living situation or something? You might have fears of moving, relocate, uh, relocating. For some of you, that could be the case probably. Let's see. Um, All right, let's see. So, current blockages, can we get anything on that? Current blockages. Current blockages. Anything on current blockages, anything on that? Are you? Okay, come on. Come on. I am not. Wow. Bottom you have. I think for many of you, the sign here is about movement. Two of Wands, again, is a card of movement. I think for many of you, it's about changing places. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. It's about a movement. Uh, that's the blockage. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. The decision you're delaying, the decision you're putting in the back burner, the fear that you have, the fear is your blockage. You think it's not going to work out. It's going to work out. You literally saw the Wheel of Fortune and now the Ten of Pentacles. Like this is the ultimate material uh, wish fulfillment. Like nothing can go beyond this. <laughs> top cap, top notch, whatever word you're going to use. 
So I think for many of you, it's about a movement, okay? Uh, you might be seeing number nine a lot, 999, double nine, triple nine. That's your sign. <laughs> no way. Come on. Ten of cups. Hmm. You need to listen to your voice, that internal voice, that voice that is telling you to take a risk. I'm not saying again, uh, take your own calculated risks, whatever is under your capacity. But I feel the blockage here is regarding a movement. And I'm pretty sure people who are in this situation, you will understand who I'm speaking to. Maybe for a while you're thinking to, you have a place in mind, okay? And you know you have to go there. Something just calls in, okay? Something is just like calling you there, but you're not going, you're delaying it. Or you're like, no, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. You're just creating doubts in your head. So this is your sign, you should. If that's what is bothering you for a while, like should I relocate or not? This is a yes for you. You should, because this is going to bring you a lot of financial abundance. The new opportunity that you're looking for money-wise, this is your door that you need to walk through. Okay, I'm going to see in the next six months what is going to be your money path or situation like. So your new money path, which is literally the topic of this reading, is linked to you moving, you getting, a, getting yourself settled in a new place. Okay? let's see um sorry what was i asking again yeah your next six months what can you expect in the next six months what can you expect in the next six months what i think you're gonna have a conversation with a stranger soon i'm gonna tell you something you know what i visualize right now like someone sitting on a bench and talking to a stranger it gave me the feeling of like, you don't know this person. This person is a stranger to you. Uh, maybe talking to a stranger will give you some perspective. It might happen so. Uh, that's how I visualize it. Uh-oh, uh uh that flipped. Ten of wands. You guys are going to close a cycle, yeah. Say. Uh, bottom, you have eight of swords. This is you feeling lost, you feeling like... I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. I'm not sure if I'm capable of doing this. Uh, but I think you're going to come to the realization that it's time you should wrap this up and move forward. In the next six months, you might be actually deciding to close this situation, this cycle forever. Oh, that came out. Hierophant, damn. that's literally so beautiful and see bottom you have princess of cups a new beginning some of you this might happen so you move after your marriage like you end up meeting a person like out of the blues you end up meeting a person you decide to move in with this person because hierophant is also the card of marriage moving in with someone Again, Ten of Pentacles is also a card of family and marriage, okay? So maybe for some of you, and since the Princess of Cups is here, which is a new emotional beginning, below that is the foolish man. You're going to take this risk. I feel you might end up meeting a person um, and you might decide, you know what, let's do it. I'm going to go with you. This person might be the reason you take this leap of faith. For some of you, it could be a friend. For some of you, it's a soulmate, I'm guessing. The soulmate is going to be the reason why you end up finally taking this decision. You're like, hey, let's do it. I'm coming with you. <laughs> You're going to take this risk. There are heavy chances you're moving in the next six months, and that's going to bring a change in your money situation, okay? Yeah, you don't see this coming. I cut the deck and the moon card is here. I'm again getting the vision of dragonflies. Dragonflies could be symbolic to you. Can we get any more um, hint, spirits? Um, okay, 
let's take some more hints if I can get something with this. Okay. Let me wait. I'm going to take some Oracle uh, messages. Wait. This one. I got the vision of a song. I remember, I don't remember the name of the song. I really don't. I just, I just got the vision of that video of that song. In that video, uh, this guy goes to a coffee shop and he sees a girl who was literally sitting there and reading her book. And this guy goes up to her and, you know, asks the restaurant, like whatever that was, coffee shop. Uh, he asks them to give her the coffee and on that coffee like you know they make those images on the coffee or they write something like with the coffee itself so in the coffee he asks them to write date and then a question mark so when they serve the coffee to that girl and she's like what the hell is this and then the guy uh, goes and sits at her table and looks at her like do you want to go on a date? So that was the video, like something like that. So I guess this is about a fated meeting that's about to happen. And it's going to Im impact your financial situation as well, of course. <laughs> I love this. Okay, let's see. Can we get any additional messages, additional hints with the Oracle cards? Thank you, spirits. I'm getting a husky, a dog. Uh, I don't know if you if you guys have husky or this person you're about to meet will have a husky. So that will be a sign to you. I got the dog in my vision. Okay, this one, this one. Let's take here. Oh my God. This one. you got oops sorry you got self is it focusing yeah number 17 self reflection wow 22 wisdom i like the idea how there's a boat and there are books on it and she's trying to reach the moon with her knowledge you know like a knowledge that's helping her to literally reach heights um some kind of revelation let me see we'll connect the dots oh come on i i think i gave you this message okay come on passion <laughs> number 11 and how there is an idea of like you know, two people who are passionate about each other. Rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. Come on. I think I was just talking about this, a revelation that's helping you to reach the moon. <laughs> She's trying to reach the moon with this realization, with this knowledge she has gained. For some of you, it could be the case that you are actually graduating. I mean, I'm taking it at fa uh, face value, this, this symbolism. Probably some of you guys are literally graduating, completing a degree or something. Uh, another was 19, inspiration. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. 
the idea of a soulmate that I see, Isis and Osiris, for many of you, I think it's about meeting a person, like for most of you, who's obviously resonating with that message. Okay. Um, you know, when I'm looking at that card of self-reflection, it is giving me a feeling that you're realizing because you also have the 10 of wands, right? You're leaving the patterns or situationships behind, which you now understand are not serving you anymore. You might, have a, you might be having this realization that, you know what, I can't keep doing this bullshit again and again. I want to close this. Maybe you're having the realization that it's you who kept on entertaining certain people in your life that are not good for you. Maybe it was you who was waiting on for something to happen, which actually is not even, you know, it doesn't belong in your life. Maybe you were waiting for a person to correct their behavior again. That could be one of the things. But now you're realizing, you know what, that's none of my job. That's not my circus, not my monkey. I'm not going to entertain myself. So the self-reflection is indicating the fact you're not participating in anything that you now realize is not contributing to your growth. Because now you're focused on your growth, something that can help you reach the moon, okay? So this is the change in perspective. I like this beautiful energy. Sorry. Okay, so let's take your channel messages. And then in the meantime, you can also prepare a question in your mind, uh, which I'll be answering with this coin. Okay. Let's take your channel. Let me close my eyes and get one. Okay, they're telling me to take more. Okay, done. All right, so wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but don't copy. I'm getting a feeling uh, you need to create your own niche. Let me give you an example. Uh, you need to stop being bothered about the fact what the people in your profession are doing, okay? Doesn't, doesn't matter if people in your profession are following a certain format or certain way of doing things that's actually working for them. It doesn't mean it will work for you. You need to follow your own niche, create your own style, add your own essence to your work, okay? Don't copy. That's literally coming like a warning. I'm sorry. Uh, more views. Okay, sorry. More views, subscriptions. Uh, this is probably for people who are into some kind of online business, of course. Credit score, for some of you, your credit score is improving. Uh, oh, okay, I think I channeled this in your reading. 7777. Seven, seven, seven. Some of you, you're seeing this number a lot. You got three phone calls. Um, you're going to receive three important phone calls regarding money matters. Brand deals, for some of you, it's about receiving brand deals, collaborations with brands, okay? That's going to bring you money, additional money. Side hustle. Uh, so this is a sign that your side hustle is going to pick up in the next couple of months, whatever you're doing on the side. It's going to start paying you money now, okay? Because the topic of the reading is a new money source, right? A new money path. So this is for some of you. Your side hustle is going to start making you money now. Beauty. Some of you, the way you look is going to make you open up a new money path. Now it depends how, again, everyone's way will be different. But your beauty, the way you look, the way you carry yourself, uh, it's going to convert into a new money-making opportunity for you. Uh, podcast, interview. I think many of you are into some kind of online business because you keep getting these cards, okay? Wow. 
bet lottery travel come on come on <laughs> uh relocate okay see i didn't make things up right you all you got this again in your channel messages like that i literally i i did this before even starting the reading and it's matching with whatever i said um sorry donation uh is it focusing sorry donation charity you might be receiving receiving some kind of donation or charity say for example you have a youtube channel some people might be happy to donate to your channel okay things like that property sale some of you you might be selling a property an asset that you own okay um discounts and offers uh, some of you if you're about to make a big purchase you might receive good discount on that and that's how you are literally creating more money for yourself what make money while travel for many of you travel is significant see this is twice in your message for some of you it could be about sharing your journey while you're traveling okay maybe you're making online videos and stuff like that about your travel you could be a travel vlogger literally watching me i don't know <laughs> okay anyways so okay let's keep it on the side and i'm gonna ask the question now so take your couple of seconds to ask the questions and i'm gonna flip this coin Okay, let's ask. Thank you, spirits. What is the answer? The answer is a yes. So whatever you asked, the answer is yes. Okay. So group number one, this is going to be a reading and I'm going to see you again with another video. Take good care of yourselves. All the best for everything amazing coming your way. Stay blessed, stay happy. Take care, bye-bye. Hello, group number two. This is going to be a reading. And just give me a moment. Yeah, sorry. The first message itself that I got for you guys was regarding fitness, okay? So I'm not sure if you are someone into fitness industry or i don't know i got something related to the more healthier you keep yourself the more you focus on your health for you guys especially the focus that i saw was on your health okay like the the messages that i was getting intuitively before plugging in sorry did i say plug in in okay no <laughs> before uh starting your reading I have a feeling the more you focus on your health, the more you focus on your own wellness, the more your money situation is going to improve in your life. For many of you, this is about your mental health. Care about you. This is what I'm getting. Like, take care of you. What doesn't make you happy doesn't make you happy. Let it go. You don't have to keep entertaining bullshit from people uh, in order to just maintain relationships or stuff like that focus on your health is what i'm very strongly getting for you guys okay let me see okay I feel your energy is all over the place. The, the feeling that I'm channeling from your cup is like, you're doing too much. You, you're not supposed to. And the moment I said that was 11.11 on my phone. Um, I have a feeling you guys are doing too much. Your energy is very scattered. You need to bring back your focus. You need to bring back... <clears throat> You need to sort out your priorities first is what I'm getting. Like prepare a list of things you should really be um, 
you know like that should be a priority you cannot you are a human okay your body has certain limitations you got to agree with that right especially if you are a female watching me sometimes we feminine underestimate the power of rest okay our body really needs rest sometimes and i'm not creating a gender bias here but sometimes i can understand being a girl myself we underestimate the power of rest okay so i have a feeling there's a lot of scattered energy you need to bring back your focus your power to yourself okay um you might be doing too much in a situation you might be doing too much to take care of so many other things so many other people but you're not paying attention to yourself and the message that i'm getting here is that sort out your priorities first that's the reason maybe i was channeling the message of your health right from the beginning okay uh learn to say no if you can't you can't simple let them feel bad about it let them um if you can't you can't you need rest you need your time off you need the uh, time for yourself whatever that is um learn to say no this is what i'm getting because the more your health gets affected it directly affects your financial situation or your money situation as well right um if you're not at the best of your health you're not going to make wise decisions right you're not going to make good decisions with other aspects of your life and i'm getting this quote in my mind that one who cannot control their emotion cannot control their wealth i'm getting that quote <laughs> I think I got this in one more reading of mine. I don't know which reading, but I'm channeling this again. I'll show you something. Do you see something here? Like there is a door. Like that's how I'm seeing it. Like there's a door. Um that's need to be shut down, okay? Because it's causing a leakage. you need to shut this door to stop this leakage this is what i'm getting <sighs> you guys could be overworked you guys could be maybe you're doing a two three jobs i don't know you you seem very overworked to me um that also could be one thing maybe if your time and schedule allows you you should take some rest is what i'm getting and i'm also getting you need to start intentionally putting out your thoughts in the universe to come out of the survival mode start putting your intentions so that after a couple of months or an year or something you can come out of this because you can't do this for long right it's going to have a toll on your health so i'm getting a feeling that start working with more intentional approach in life uh because sometimes you know i'll tell you something i'll give you an example probably you guys can relate with what i'm saying when i started uh, a couple of years back when i started my corporate career and i remember i reached a point in time where like i i i did my first job and after like one one and a half year into the job my health took a toss i came to a point where i kept on eating medicines like taking medicines and my body was literally surviving on tablets and medicines because i could not sit up straight for a couple of hours to even work like my health went for a toss I got admitted to the hospital so many times because I would fall sick so often and the amount of stress I was taking to you know like do the job and everything it was taking a toll on my physical mental health in a very bad way like I was I literally came to a point where without medicines I can't go a day and I was hardly 24 25 at that time can you imagine like at that age if i have reached a point where a single day won't pass without taking a couple of medicines or tablets like dude what am i living i'm that that life is living hell 
right? That's a living hell. Because at the age of 25, I'm supposed to be happy. <laughs> I'm supposed to be all giggly and enjoying life, ha being happy. But no, it was to totally the opposite. So because I was living a scattered life, I didn't, I didn't understand, you know, how to center back my attention and not get affected by every small thing that was happening around me. It definitely took me a time to realize how I can bring back my focus and how I can live life with a more intentional approach, what I want at the end of the day. You may not know, you may not have all the answers today. I'm not saying you have to know everything today, what you're going to do after five years. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But probably you can at least understand like five years down the lane, what you don't want in your life. So you can have two of the either things. Either you're very clear what you want in another couple of years. And if you can't do that, then probably you can be very clear of what you don't want in another couple of years. So figure one of these things out and your life will see, it will come back to track. Trust me, do this. Take a journal, write it down. If you can't figure out what exactly you want, try figuring out what exactly you don't want in another two years and start living your life as per that blueprint, as per that intentional approach and see how your life will start changing. Maybe give it a shot, okay? Um, I have a feeling that uh, it's all about having a focused approach. That's, like, that's what I keep channeling in your cup. Your energy is very scattered. You don't feel centered. You are in survival mode, I feel. Your lower chakras could be imbalanced, okay? Um, yeah. You need, to, you need to feel a sense of security, take some rest, and maybe having a spiritual routine can help you because it can help you to feel a sense of security within your existence. And that's how you can slowly come out of your survival mode. What does a spiritual routine do to you? What is spirituality? Spirituality will give you a sense of direction in life. It will give you a sense of security in your own existence because once you become spiritually active, there, uh, there, there comes a feeling from inside that, hey, there is something out there protecting me. There's something out there having my back. I don't have to worry about things. It gives you a sense of security at the end of the day, right? So I think some of you, you needed to hear this. So what am I doing? A brainstorming session? <laughs> okay, I like to talk, by the way, sometimes. You might be seeing a stag or deer. That could be your sign. This message is for you. A deer or a stag. Because that also represents your spiritual consciousness. The power of your subconscious mind. Okay. Let's see. The alphabet A could be significant. Ally is what I'm hearing. Ally or ally. I don't know what that means. Um, I see a person or like a, this seems to me like a figure, like a spirit guide or something. And this is like a girl, like a girl with like two ponytails or something. Something to do with your teenage years I'm getting or while growing up as a kid. Uh, something might have scared you or an experience that sits in your heart rent free. Something that causes you a lot of insecurity. There could have been an experience like this. I'm not saying this could be, this could be like an experience with your parental figure or a figure that used to take care of you, your guardians, okay? Because I'm seeing this as your guardian. So a person who was your guardian, um, a person who used to look after you, your parents could be your elder siblings or someone, they might have instilled some kind of insecurity in you. And this insecurity is causing you blockages. Wow. You know what? I'll tell you something. 
um, everything that happens in our life is a result of our mindset and the subconscious fears that we hold on to. Doesn't matter if it's our love life, our financial condition, um, personal life, uh, life relationships, they are all a reflection of our subconscious thoughts. Okay. So don't ever think that, you know, like I'm broke because, hey, I, I, I don't have money making money can be made. People make money showing their nails on the internet. So please don't kid me around. When people say money making is hard, I think, no, it's not. I'm, I'm talking from personal experience because there have been instances in my life. I've literally seen people doing nothing and making money. Okay. So sometimes it's about getting over that mindset that's blocking you. Um, but yeah, at the same time, um, again, if you resonate or you resonate, if you don't, you can click off. All right. So hmm. let's see. I think I'll take one card on what's blocking your financial growth. Yeah. Look. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is your basic foundation, uh, your security, like literally your root chakra, the blockages in your root chakra. I'll take only one card for your blockage because I think we have already talked a lot about that. <sighs> come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, okay. Mm. yep the intro card came out the hermetic tarot intro card seven of wands princess of swords princess of swords i think many of you are having an ego fight in your head right now you're like no this isn't true bullshit <laughs> hmm. it's not bullshit okay Anyways, coming back to this, I have a feeling with this Seven of Wands and Princess of Swords, you are sabotaging your own opportunities in life. Either you are overestimating yourself or you are very much under underestimating yourself. You need to have some kind of reality check is what I'm getting with these three cards. I'll tell you something. You know what? Do one thing. For another 10 days, like that's my suggestion, for another 10 days, before you go to sleep or in the evening, whenever you get free from your work, take out a book, uh, sorry, take out a diary, a notebook and start writing. Start writing, pick up a situation in your head, a situation that's, that is bothering you doesn't have to be recent. It can be something that happened to you two years back, maybe. Just pick up a situation in your head and start writing the details about that situation. Hey, this happened. Um, I met this person. He treated me like that. And he told me these things. Now, how I behaved in the situation, write it down. I behaved like this. You know, when I met him, I noticed this about him, but I ignored it, which means it was a red flag I could have noticed. Okay, now write it down. Um, next time when he, he disrespected you or she disrespected you, uh, what did you answer back in return? Like, try to write down the whole fucking situation and see, is there something that you could have done to avoid it? Like, in the first place itself, there's something that you could have noticed and you could have been like, oh, see, I see it. So I think some of you, you need to have some kind of reality check. I'm sorry if this message is sounding a little harsh, but I don't know why I'm feeling like a... I'm actually, because this is a channeled feeling I have. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you, need, you need to get this reality check for yourself. Um, sometimes you need to stop underestimating what you can do. And you need to start trusting that people's behavior is not your personal problem. It's their problem. If someone behaves a certain way, if someone isn't supporting you, whatever that shit is, it's not your problem at the end of the day. 
let them fucking go or let them doubt you. It doesn't matter, okay? And I have a feeling um, you need to start staying grounded in your energy. There's a lot of insecurity that I can channel. The moment someone says something to you, you quickly doubt yourself. No matter how gangster you look from the outside, you're very insecure, I feel. No matter how gangster... (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Why am I behaving like this? Sorry. Okay. um... (laughs) It's funny. This is a channel feeling, okay? I I don't talk like that. (laughs) I do, but not like on my (laughs) readings. Anyways um let's see okay let's see what's happening in the next six months what's happening in the next six months with your finances and your money Ooh, ten of swords yeah there's something about ego see the sun here sun is our ego (laughs) you could be a libra rising um Aries rising, probably. There's something to do with ego here. You Either you underestimate yourself so freaking much or you literally overestimate yourself. You need a reality check is what I'm getting. Yeah, dude, come on. Saturn, energy, justice. Um, I have a feeling, first of all, you definitely are receiving some kind of justice in your money situation. Somewhere you felt like people took advantage of you, people misused you for your money, you are getting back that. Your good karma is coming back in your money, okay? First things first. So in the next six months, it's of course Saturn retrograde. So money-wise, you're getting your good karma, okay? Let's see what can you expect in the next... uh, I was about to say nine months. Sorry, what can you expect in the six months? wow oh my god i love that love that love that come on love that (sighs) i'm gonna tell you something this reality check this the saturn lesson the stuff lesson is gonna put you put you to the path of becoming a leader because see the emperor the empress both the cards are here The message is very clear, okay? This reality check that you had or you are having right now, probably in the current situation you're realizing, dude, these are the places I underestimated myself. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to be unapologetically me. Or if there is a place where you are overestimating yourself, you're probably realizing, hey, I need to correct this behavior. I need to take this at face value and work on this. Be critical on this side of the story. And this is putting you to perspective, to becoming a leader, someone who rules the material plane. Wow. I love this. I do have a feeling some of you, you are collaborating with the same gender. There is a same gender friendship or relationship that's going to be of significance. But because my eyes are going to these two girls in the card. So maybe for some of you, it's about having a collaboration uh, with a person of the same gender that's going to be significant. Uh, For some of you, it could be about um, finding your soul family because this could also mean that you're finding your people who are generally, um, like, sorry, who are genuinely supportive of you. Like, they support you. Like, hey, go for it. Do it. Wow. I love that. Um, I'm going to take just a couple of more cards. Anything else can we get for the next six months? For many of you, I feel it's about... um... Okay, no, let's not jump the gun there. Um... Uh, I think I have a feeling many of you, you are getting into some kind of leadership role by seeing this and the emperor that I saw. You, you guys are getting into some kind of leadership role or you're becoming a mentor of some sort. You might be actually opening up a, because the reading, the topic of the reading is a new money path, right? So you are gaining some kind of leadership role is what I'm getting. 
you are either leading people or you are teaching them something because Saturn also is like a teacher, right? So that's how I see it, like, or what I'm channeling from these cards. Let me see. What can I get? Anything? Uh, oh, my God. Okay. There are so many. King of Wands. Wow. Mm, okay, let me keep it here. Let's see. Sorry. Uh, for some of you, this could also mean you are starting something new uh, in collaboration with your spouse or your partner. Because we saw the Empress and the Emperor at the bottom, you remember? So maybe you guys are collaborating with a partner, like you and your spouse, your you might start something new like that, like in collaboration, working together. Hmm. The moment I was talking about collaboration, this came out. Three of Pentacles. I think it's about a, a collaboration that it is talking about. A significant uh, friendship or coming together with a partner like especially in business terms like this message was there in group one as well but here the message that i'm channeling is more regards to a business partnership like even if it is your spouse it's about getting in business partnership with your spouse or your potential soulmate okay um yeah there is definitely a collaboration happening that's going to be significant just one more card please thank you that too came out the moon uh i also got this message for some of you you're collaborating with your mother maybe you and your mother are so together starting a home business or something i don't know i got a mother figure as well the moon um oh but oh the moment i was saying that moon is also seen as mother in vedic astrology yeah for some of you i think it's about mother collaboration with a mother figure or a lady this may not be your mother but a lady like older to you someone like a mother figure to you um knight of pentacles yeah for some of you i feel that's the message anyways mm, i'm gonna take some oracle messages also Uh, one and this one I'm drawn to two. Hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see. I keep channeling this message of feminine energy is gonna be significant. Okay yeah this message is something i'm it keeps uh, repeating in my head there's something related to a feminine energy being significant in the next couple of months number nine assessing okay fear number 11 Yeah, number 11 could be something you might be seeing again and again, 11, 11. Uh, I also have a message that, like, while looking at these two cards, I have a feeling, and this is so interesting, the number is 911, like the emergency, 911. <laughs> you see that? 9-11 for some of you that could be something significant 
I have a feeling that you don't trust this feminine energy. Probably you're doubting their intentions. Um, because do you see something? There's this girl sitting inside this egg or whatever this is. And there's another female here. I don't know if you guys don't trust this feminine. You're doubting their intentions. But I feel this is only in your head. This is gonna turn out to be better than what you think. Okay? Uh, this is just in your head. Creativity number 33. Number 24, magical powers. Wow. The color purple is significant. Here also there is so much of purple. Your crown chakra, your uh, upper chakras. Phoenix energy. For some of you, this is your own higher self. You're scared to become who you are. It's like the fear of becoming who you are, fear of success. This is also what I'm channeling with this. You're actually scared of becoming who you truly are. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's um, take your channel messages, the, this thing, and uh, in the meantime, you can prepare your question. I'm going to flip the coin and ask your answer. Okay. You got... Are you serious right now? What? I just said this, okay? I just said this. Collaboration. Uh, two months. In another two months, this collaboration could be happening. Okay, applied in April. Something, a job offer or something that you have applied in April, you're going to hear back from them. This may not be for everyone, but some of you. Yeah, new job. Wow. Probably some of you, you might have applied for something in April. You're going to hear back from them. This is what I'm getting. You might hear back from them in another two months. Becoming manager. You might be becoming a manager. I told you, I guess. You might be getting into a leadership role. Casino. For some of you, you might actually end up just trying a casino, going to a casino and winning some money. Tomorrow, <laughs> oh my God. Tomorrow, there could be an opportunity of making a, like making some quick money. No matter whenever you watch this, it's a timeless reading. So tomorrow could be an opportunity of making quick money for you. Court case. For some of you, there could be literally a hearing of your court case tomorrow. So it's going to go in your favor. It might also end up giving you some kind of financial claim or something. Within one year change. Uh, when I was writing this message, the feeling that I channeled was your career path will completely change within one year. Like one year down the line, you're going to do something completely different. It's not going to be the same, okay? Um, friendship. Wow, come on. This is... This message is repeating in your reading. Going viral. Uh, for some of you, it's about, sorry, becoming famous in whatever you're doing. Doesn't matter if it's online or if it's the word of mouth, people referring your name to people, okay? You're going viral in whatever you're doing. Course teaching. For some of you, I also have a feeling that you might end up taking a career path where you teach people what you know. I think I gave this in the channel message while doing, doing your reading as well. You might end up becoming a teacher or someone who leads people. Uh, it's like you're going to share your experience and teach people with that. Anyways, whichever way it's resonating. Um, 
yeah let me see if i'm leaving out something no okay um so let's do this They're telling me to take more okay two more all right one two all right i'm gonna take that uh spouse's income <laughs> Uh, for some of you, there is a increase in your spouse uh, income. Obviously, if you have a spouse, you're married. <laughs> don't come at me saying, oh, I'm single. Please don't act stupid. Bonus. Uh, for some of you, you're receiving some kind of bonus at your current job. And power dynamic. Wow. Yeah. This message is many times in your reading. See? Power dynamic. Becoming manager. And there was one more, I guess. I think, uh, where is that? Where did it go? Anyways, yeah, so for many of you, it's about coming in a leadership role. Anyways, you can go ahead and ask your question and I'm going to flip the coin for the answer. Okay, thank you, spirits. What's the answer? The answer is a no. Why is it a no? Let me pull a card. Uh, why is it a no? What? Four of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. And five of swords, yep. Yeah. Okay. With this, I have a feeling that it's a no because you need to get out of your head and see the situation for what it is. You need to take a step back and start observing something. Instead of building up scenarios in your head, be a little patient and first start observing what's happening. You will get the answer then, okay? Start building scenario, uh, stop building scenarios in your head. Start observing more and having some patience, okay? So I think this is what uh, your reading will be, group number two. And I'm going to see you again with another video on my channel. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.